devs, past, present, and future. A talk given at the uh, Journey's Devs Francophone, the JDF, the conference uh, on devs uh, put on in Cargis, uh, Corsica, by the devs uh, network of uh, France in April 2016. As DEFS matures, new generations are curious about its origins, how it was conceived within the intellectual climate of its early years, how it related to simulation language development and discrete event dynamic systems. However, looking backward is preparation for going forward. So from a historical perspective, we present a timeline of DEFS milestones, view DEFS briefly, examine a role for devs in meddling and simulation methodology, survey the state of devs today, discuss devs research and development, and offer some hints for future development. On the origins of devs. There are two uh, sources uh, for the historical uh, origins of devs. Uh, a uh, article in the uh, International Journal of General Systems uh, that considers devs uh, more from the systems theory uh, point of view. And uh, another uh, source is the uh, uh, interview with uh, Richard Nance in the uh, Modeling and Simulation Archive, uh, in which uh, I discussed uh, devs theory and practice uh, more in the simulation context. On the background, uh, DEV stands for Discrete Event Specification, and uh, it now can be considered a family of modeling and simulation formalisms. So DEV formalizes what a model is, uh, what it must contain, what it doesn't contain. For example, experimentation and simulation control parameters are not contained in the model. DEVS is universal and unique for discrete event system models. Any system that accepts in events as inputs over time and generates events as outputs over time can be shown to be equivalent to DEVS. Its behavior and structure can be described by such a DEVS. DEVS has a concept of abstract simulator. DEVS compliant simulators execute DEVS models correctly and repeatably, which is an extremely important and efficiently. Closure under coupling guarantees correctness in hierarchical composition of components supporting uh, building of uh, complex uh, hierarchically structured models. DEVS models can be simulated on multiple different execution platforms, including those on desktops, for example, for development, and those on high performance platforms such as multi core processors. Recently, we've shown that uh, DEVS uh, provides correctness without a performance hit. The parallel DEVS simulation protocol provides close to the best possible performance, except possibly in certain areas, uh, regions where uh, activity is very low or the coupling among components is very small. Now we'll talk about some highlights in DEVS development. In 1976, a class of DEVS was defined in the book of theory of modeling and simulation. Uh, and that was uh, followed by uh, hierarchical modular DEVS uh, uh, in the uh, 1980s. And uh, the system entity structure and model-based concepts in uh, 1990. Um, these fundamental uh, concepts were uh, subsequently uh, refined and extended with uh, DEV and uh, DAS, which uh, combined uh, DEVs with the uh, differential equation system specification and uh, the extension of DEVs to include dynamic structure and parallel DEVs in the late uh, 1990s. And uh, in the early uh, 
2000s uh, G devs and uh, quantized devs and the proof of devs universality in the second edition of uh, theory of modeling and simulation. And uh, recently, um, we have uh, finite deterministic devs uh, and uh, also not shown, but uh, finite uh, probabilistic devs and stochastic uh, extension of devs and uh, um, and um, just recently uh, the implementation of uh, dev and des for hybrid uh, uh, systems, very complex uh, differential algebraic uh, equation systems uh, in uh, Modelica and uh, devs. Here is a list of uh, articles that are associated with the milestones uh, just presented. Illustrating uh, the universality of devs, Hans uh, Van Ungelu, uh presented this uh, lattice of devs, representable formalisms, uh, quite a while ago. And uh, it uh, illustrates on the left uh, the uh, partial differential equations and uh, uh, differential uh, uh, system equations, and uh, uh, more on the continuous side, and then on the right, uh, finite state automata and cellular automata, and uh, more discrete event-oriented. Uh, world views and uh, showing that eventually uh, through transformations they can all be represented uh, uh, within the uh, devs formalism. Um, a question we can raise uh, given the uh, return of category theory to uh, uh, potential uh, status uh, of interest uh, is uh, can category th theory help to uh, deal with this kind of uh, organization? Although we understand these uh, formalisms can be um, related one to each uh, another and uh, used to uh, uh, develop models, uh, we don't have uh, currently a, uh, a recognizable uh, tool support for uh, this, these kinds of transformations. Now let's consider DEV's place within uh, the modeling and simulation methodology. Uh, we'll have a space in which uh, we'll place uh, our interest uh, in DEV's. Um, and uh, um, on the vertical axis, uh, we have uh, analyzability for models uh, from low to high, uh, where uh, high, high analyzable models, highly analyzable models, uh, are simplistic, uh, easy enough to uh, analyze, simulations not needed. Uh, to uh, generate their behavior and, and understand uh, uh, the, uh, how the behavior is generated. Uh, on the vertical axis, we have uh, simulation indispensability, uh, meaning uh, that uh, these models are not analyzable, uh, and simulation is uh, uh, indispensably needed, you can't uh, do without it. Uh, so we have, in a sense, polar opposites uh, depicted in a two-dimensional manner like that. Uh, now most models would cluster around the poles uh, of uh, high analyzability, simplistic models, uh, or uh, on the other uh, side, uh, 
uh, complex uh, models that uh, are uh, uh, definitely uh, require a simulation uh, to, to generate their behavior and uh, understand uh, uh, what, what uh, is being uh, predicted. Uh, now we're tending toward uh, more and more uh, complex models with uh, the uh, advent of high-performance uh, computing and uh, other technologies. Uh, but uh, uh, that uh, must be supported by um, a modeling and simulation methodology uh, in between. Uh, which is where uh, Dev's focus is, uh, as I would put it uh, here. Um, in, in this uh, middle ground, uh, we have um, models that uh, can be uh, developed uh, uh, by uh, simplification from uh, high, high uh, uh, highly complex models uh, or our uh, uh, higher level abstractions or uh, uh, developments uh, that uh, have their origin in, uh, in uh, analytic or uh, simple models uh, of a generic, uh, more generic type. Uh, and um, these uh, models uh, uh, that can be developed in this middle ground uh, should be relatable to uh, the uh, polar opposites uh, so that they actually connect them together. So uh, that uh, models uh, for which we uh, uh, do simulation and get uh, results um, such as uh, uh, more constraints on, on their parameters uh, should uh, be able to be uh, uh, related with the parameters uh, behavior back uh, to uh, more simplistic models uh, where which can be used to uh, uh, predict uh, what what the uh, behaviors are uh, from the given the parameter values. Uh, so uh, there's a number of uh, properties that uh, uh, depend on the where you are in the space of models uh, and uh, we can go back and forth uh, with uh, models at different levels and uh, uh, gain uh, certain uh, uh, good properties in going in one direction and uh, uh, maybe other uh, properties in the other direction. Uh, uh, so, for example, uh, we have uh, computational complexity, which tends to be increasing as we go uh, toward the uh, simulation and dispensability uh, in that direction. Uh, understandability understandability uh, would go in the opposite direction as we go toward more uh, some simplistic uh, simpler models. Uh, descriptive en entropy, uh, the ability to uh, predict, uh, use the model to make predictions and uh, uh, the ex extent of the uncertainties in that, in that prediction. Uh, that, that uh, might increase or decrease uh, depending on uh, the, the actual model uh, and uh, preservation or predictive ability of the model uh, may uh, vary also uh, with uh, more simplistic models uh, or uh, more complex models uh, it's uh, often assumed that the uh, anything shown uh, proved uh, about properties for a model uh, developed uh, uh, within uh, uh, sort of model checking 
that anything developed uh, there would uh, hold for the original system. Uh, but uh, that assumes uh, a lot about the uh, properties involved. Let's take a look at uh, DEVS today. Um, use a sampling of uh, papers from the uh, JDF meeting um, to uh, get that uh, kind of glimpse. In theory, uh, modeling and simulation, uh, extension of the system energy structure for hierarchical abstraction, formal methods and devs, uh, for example, uh, developments uh, of uh, devs and Permela. Uh, DEVS modeling and simulation of uh, multi-layered social networks, multi-component formulation of DEVS. Applications and uh, APIs, uh, parallel simulation of DEVS uh, spiking neurons, DEVS uh, smartphone-based uh, simulation, DEVS encoding into te timed uh, Petri nets uh, for uh, hardware embedded system implementation, uh, multi-component devs, uh, multi-agent modeling, for example, of fisheries, uh, simulation and optimization, uh, devs-based architecture for simulation-based optimizations, optimization of devs, distributed simulation, uh, reproducible, reproducibility uh, of high-performance stochastic simulations. Uh, DEVS has uh, multiple environments. Uh, they, these uh, were uh, demoed and discussed and compared. Uh, such environments as VLE, uh, MS for me, and DEVS SymPy, uh, ProDEVS, a PetriNet encoding uh, environment for DEVS, and uh, a new development in DEVS, the framework DEVS. Uh, uh, for a uh, uh, fully object-oriented uh, framework uh, uh, software engineering uh, uh, tool set for DEVS. Looking forward uh, to the future development of uh, DEVS, let's look at how DEVS uh, provides frameworks uh, in new areas of application. Uh, here are four, for example, uh, listed um, DEVS uh, framework for simulating uh, continuous time production flows in the food industry. It offers a novel framework for carrying out simulation of continuous time stochastic processes. And its unique capability uh, is it can, it can keep track of parameters related to the process and flowing material temperature, concentration of pollutant, and so on. DEVS has been applied to uh, a framework for building energy uh, design. Uh, it allows different professions involved in building design uh, to work independently to create an integrated model. And the results indicated that the DEVS formalism is a promising way to improve poor interoperability between models of different domains invo involved in uh, building performance simulations. Quantum key distribution systems uh, with uh, components using DEVS. <clears throat> Another example, DEVS assures that the development uh, developed component models are composable and exhi exhibit temporal behavior independent of the simulation environment. It enables users to assemble and simulate any collection of compatible components to represent complete quantum key distribution architectures. Finally, uh, DEVS framework for transportation evacuation, which in, uh, integrates embed scheduling into the agent-based uh, approach. Uh, this framework has a hybrid, uh, unique hybrid simulation space includes a flexible structured network and eliminates time step scheduling used in classical agent based approaches. This allows hybrid uh, space uh, 
to overcome the cellular space limitations and provides flexibilities in simulating evacuation scenarios. Finally, uh, let's consider hints of uh, future development. Basic system foundations uh, can be uh, further extended. Uh, the concept of iterative specification and theory of modeling and simulation, uh, uh, lots to do there. Uh, Time-based refinement, some work has been done, more work can be done. Dynamic structure uh, framework for uh, uh, all of uh, DEVS uh, implementations currently. Uh, coupling formalism specifications have been some recent work uh, that uh, shows uh, promise for uh, uh, developing a whole uh, approach to uh, coupling. Uh, Universal specification language for DEVs, uh, uh, conceptual modeling language uh, using basic sets for stored logic uh, shows promise for uh, a un universal way of uh, specifying DEVs. Uh, on the other hand, uh, continuing work in multi uh, directions, multi formalism, multi component, multi agent. DEVS architectures of various uh, implementations, uh, optimization, hardware, extension of uh, the abstract simulator concept uh, may be needed in each of these uh, kinds of extensions. Uh, weather category system uh, theory can uh, provide the organization of uh, DEVs, for example, uh, subclasses of DEVs, uh, approximate morphisms, and the kind of uh, multiformalism uh, integration that uh, uh, we showed earlier. Uh, some applications such as DEVs pathways, uh, web-based execution, uh, DEVs as a basis for modeling and simulation as a service. Uh, will be very important as uh, the uh, current environments uh, show how to uh, support DEVs as a uh, replacement for HLA uh, as, a, as a way to integrate uh, large-scale simulations. And uh, there should be continuous de continued development of new DEVs tools and uh, a list of existing tools is uh, shown in this uh, link, uh, which needs to be updated to, uh, uh, to uh, mention the current uh, current uh, additions. And there uh, sh should be more books, videos, demos, etc., uh, to uh, provide uh, more introduction to devs and uh, uh, um, bring together all the. Uh, theoretical, uh, practical, and practical developments that have occurred so far. Here are some videos on the MS4 system site that uh, provide some introduction to uh, the uh, Markov modeling uh, concept within DEVS and some uh, other talks uh, of mine uh, on uh, devs uh, recently given.